Yum, yum! Hello, Lukasz Pazara here. Today I would like to show you a work in progress on a feature that I'm personally uh, very excited with, and that is the procedural modules. So I've got a Fox asset here, uh, created by Gaetano Fornarelli, and uh, I want to rig this Fox up. Mm, so I already did uh, some of the works. So if I just show my locators, you can see that I've got my legs and spine and neck and head. And what I am missing is the tail uh, and ears. Let me switch to the shaded view just to get a bit uh, cleaner look. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a procedural module um, to rig the tail and, uh, and ears. So if I get my module presets, the FK chain is the module that I'm going to use. So the FK chain is, is very simple. Uh, a module is just a, a hierarchy of joints and each of the joints has uh, its uh, separate controller. What I'm going to do is let's switch to the side view, go back to edit uh, guide mode and drop the FK chain module in. Let's unfold the item properties and I'll change the name of the module to the tail right away. Now if you look at under properties here, there are two options. So these, these are the dynamic properties that just this module um, exposes. And uh, the way the procedural modules work is that they are not just the assets, but they are assets combined uh, with the code. And when you do that, uh, you get the possibility of, of editing or changing uh, your module assets through the code and then you can expose uh, commands and properties in the interface um, that you allow the editing this module with. So in case of the FK chain module I've got one command which is the flip direction and then I've got the segment uh, property. So if I click the flip direction it simply just flips the uh, direction of the uh, the pointing direction of the module uh, to the other side, which is what I want for the tail. The segments property uh, changes the number of segments in the chain. So if I go something higher, like six, you will see that now it adds more uh, joints um, to to this module. But uh, in this case, I just want to be four segments in there, and now I can fit my module. So I'll just do a very quick fitting. Like so. And let's move to ears. Um, so I'm dropping the F gate chain again. So it comes much smaller, which is good. And now right away, what I want is I want to just have two segments in the ear. That will be enough. So that's what I'm changing. And now I can uh, fit this, um, actually maybe I'll just do in the perspective view, so I can quickly fit this just like before to, to my model. You can use these arrows here to just see the what is the up vector on the pointing direction, up, up direction. Um, so okay, so let's, let's say that's, that's it, that's good enough. Uh, and again, just remember, remember about uh, setting the name, so I will just name it ear. And uh, I think that's it for adding the modules. So now I'm going to apply uh, the guide to the rig. And just go to assembly context. So what I want to do is actually one more thing, is I need to change the site. Uh, because right now the ear is center, so I'm going to change it to right side, and you can see that the color um, has changed here. So now once, it, once it's on the right side, I can mirror it with symmetry to get the left ear. So there I go, and uh, now all I have to do is simply connect uh, ears to the head, and then tail to the hips. And here is a working rig. So as you can see, I've got my individual controls for each uh, segment of the tail. And I also have 
controllers for years. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Yum, yum.